you guys man i do and you know what a lot of you guys come to my new channel and that's cool because i see your pretty faces over there and it's always awesome to see you now i've been putting off this video for a very long time as you guys can tell it's been a month since i since i uploaded on this channel right so i've been putting off this video and i'm not gonna lie man i needed a break i really did i needed a break from gaming i needed a break from gta 5 it was just too much to deal with and a lot of fans out there you probably wouldn't understand but i've been doing youtube for a few years now and i guess whenever you do the same thing over and over and over and over it just it weighs on you especially when you're doing what i was doing i was uploading two videos a day every day for i would say two and a half years or something like that then I had other stuff to deal with on YouTube, just, ugh. But I kept pushing through it. And you guys were definitely a big reason for that. Like you guys had my back at every moment. And it was awesome to see that. It's great to see the viewers out there who have had my back since the beginning, whether it be the original channel, whether it be this channel, Domin's Live 2, Domin's Live News, like, God damn, you guys have always been there. And it's just great to see. So for that, I want to say thank you. And I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but in this community, a lot of videos are recycled. Hell, even I, I started a series, right? And what I would do is I would go and I would further elaborate on Easter eggs that was found like throughout GTA 5. And I started this series and, and I would make these videos and I would put a lot of detail into it. And it was fun doing that. I enjoyed doing it, but some of the fans out there already knew about the Easter eggs. And there was a lot of people that were coming to GTA 5 that didn't know about it. And the reason content is recycled on GTA 5 is because it's hard to make content on GTA 5, especially when you're a news channel or you do tips and tricks, right? Because, you know, you're able to make DLC videos like right before the DLC comes out or as soon as the DLC comes out, you can make videos. But then there's an open window where it can take a full month or two before you receive another update. Between that period, <laughs> content gets really dry. And I don't know if anyone is doing this or not because I don't keep up with you know GTA YouTubers too much anymore, but if anyone is still uploading two videos of information a day, there's a chance that what they're uploading is, is fake stuff because there isn't that much information in the world, you know? Now there's a few reasons of why I took a break and I guess one of the reasons would definitely be this. The community became the wild, wild west, meaning that other YouTubers didn't care what other YouTubers were doing, meaning that most of the YouTubers were out there were uploading just straight BS. Like you will see these GTA 6 videos being uploaded multiple times a week. And to be honest with you guys, Rockstar hasn't released a speck of GTA 6 information, but these guys are making these videos. And the videos that I made on GTA 6 were just merely just letting fans know like, hey, it's no GTA 6 information or this trailer is fake. Although this trailer has millions of views. I'm letting you guys know this trailer is fake. And a lot of you guys are telling me that there is a GTA 6 trailer. And I'm just letting you guys know that it's fake. Or I will make videos letting you guys know that certain articles are real. Because if you search GTA 6, all you're going to find is like these fake articles and just recycled information. And it got to a point where the fans were acceptable of this. So not only were these YouTubers at fault, the fans were at fault because they were allowing these people to do this stuff. And it's still going on today. Like the fans just don't care about the game anymore. It just got to a point where the fans are like, well, my favorite YouTuber is going to pull out this fake stuff, but I love him. He's funny. He's awesome. She's funny. She's awesome. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> and the community is like so bad right now. So I, I, I had to step away from it, man. And although like I love all the all the fans out there, but man, there's so many people that are turning a blind eye to the stuff that's going on. And it's just it's disgusting. And I just refuse to make those videos every day. But I just couldn't do this stuff every day like everyone else, man. I couldn't do it. I had to take a step away. And to be honest, like I've been feeling really good. Now, I do think that I will come back to GTA 5, and I'm also going to be playing other games. I'm waiting on No Man's Sky to come out. Also, FIFA, NBA, Madden, like all that stuff. I'm waiting for that to come out, and there's uh, many more games that I'm looking forward to playing. 
and i guess you guys can rest assured that i will be back the next gta 5 dlc update but also too like i'll start uploading some gta 5 videos like here on and out i can't say that i'm going to be doing this on a daily basis N not just yet because i need i need other games to come out so i can create uh content for you guys because like i said man it's it's impossible to make informational videos of gta 5 every day we don't get information released every day like we used to right and even then, back in my glory days, I was scratching information so far, and I just can't can't do that anymore. It's just, ugh, it's not fun, and I can't live with it. Some people can live with it as long as they're making all the money to do so, but I don't want that. I'm doing fine on my new channel, and I don't want that extra money to uh, to mislead people. I just don't want to do that. I'd rather just put out content that people enjoy and that I can live with because like I actually take pride in what I do man uh for me on the news channel we're doing pretty good man that channel I think had uh maybe 10,000 subscribers in January now we're now we're at 130 that news channel is gonna pass up this channel so you know Man, I just want to say thank you to all the people out there who have stuck by me through thick and thin. And if you guys want to check out the news, uh, there's going to be some links in the description. You guys go check out the channel. And um, I want to say thank you to you guys. And I will return. Don't worry. Uh, it may be this week. It may be next week. But I promise you guys I will return. And I'll return with some GTA stuff and other games as well. I just can't do GTA every day, man. But I do plan on being more active in live streams. I think that's something that I need to do. And that's how I can stretch out content by doing live streams and stuff like that. I think that's the new way to do things. But I want to say thank you for everything, guys. Like, you really mean the world to me. And uh, thank 